Welcome back. Coming up, well, it's coming up on 7.23 a.m. And fall decorations are not just about mums anymore. There are so many different plants you can use for that outdoor autumnal look. And here with us with these brilliant ideas uh, is Tracy Pascarella with your florist in Clinton. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. You look so pretty. Thank you. I love what you're wearing. Thank you. Okay, we're going to get ahead. But I, you know, I, mean, I just love what you're wearing. You look fantastic. But let's go ahead and let's talk about this beautiful setup you have here. Well, I, I'm, I'm sort of over mums. We've been doing mums for so long. Okay. So, and what I say a lot when we talk about planting urns and window boxes and that type of thing is to use some perennials. Mm -hmm. It's nice because the perennials are the ones that once you plant them, they come up year after year. Mm -hmm. So after you use them in your window box, like I've done over here, before winter comes, you take them out, plant them in your yard, and now they're gonna come up year after year. Okay. So it's sort of fun. Some grasses, these grasses, they start to turn or, uh, red tipped in the they're fall. Um, Coreopsis, fun. The kale, always a fall. That's not a perennial, it's an annual. But they're really hardy in the last through Christmas. Okay. So that's fun. Um, and then some coral bells, heuchera. Um, again, that's another perennial. Beautiful. So it's nice to use some things that you're going to get, you know, some a little more life out of. Mm -hmm. And then I brought some pumpkins. Again, not just your orange pumpkins. Um, I got my pumpkins from Domestic Possessions in Madison. They've got all these sort of um, decorative type of pumpkins and not really gourds, but nice different colors so mm -hmm. that if you're not into orange and some people aren't, you can do some nice silver or coral, um, things with some different shapes. Pretty. And these can also go in your window boxes. Um, my window boxes still look great mm -hmm. after the summer. There's just one plant that really isn't doing so great. Okay. So don't feel like you have to take everything out from the summer. Throw a few pumpkins in there or just replace a few plants here and there. You can take one grass, put it in, in a container on your front doorstep. Um, the mums are nice, but you're not going to get color, you right. know, all the way through. They're going to bloom right. for just a little while. But I love the texture, like the quality. There's so much depth there. It's so appealing to the eye. Right, and it's and it's just a little different. Yeah. It, so you're driving by and you see the same house after house, right. mum, mum, pumpkin, pumpkin. Right. And now you come across this, so and great. that really catches your eye. Yes. Um, and again, I just planted this pretty much same thing at a customer's yesterday. Okay. And a couple weeks before Thanksgiving, when the ground is still a little bit warm, right. We're going to take the perennials out, plant them in her yard, and then fill those buckets again for Christmas. Okay, Tracy, I just have to ask you really quickly because every time I come here, you come here, I'm like amazed at what you do. I have no, this is just so gorgeous the way you set it up and you do it so quickly. What's a quick little setup? What are the couple of pieces you would recommend for somebody like me? I have no clue, but I'd like to maybe dress up my table. Right, okay, so what I would think about is, as far, you know, the, the pumpkins have texture in them and they're soft. Go with some different colors. You know, if we put together like the hue and the pansies we're getting the autumnal colors and and one of my keys for fall I always like putting purple in fall oh I love it it breaks up that gold orange yellow thing that's mm -hmm. going on gives a little bit of pop of color and then you can take and put a gourd in here oh that looks so pretty um, look at I love it so so it, and, and I, I know I say this all the time, there's no rules. Okay. So it's what you like. If you put something together and yeah. you look at it and you say, I like this, then it's right. Okay. It doesn't matter if nobody else likes it. It just yeah. matters if you like it. Um, the nice thing about putting some nice things outside your house is we all work so hard. So when we come home from work and you drive in the driveway and you have a couple of nice things to look at, it, it's really like, okay, I, I, this is what I'm working for. Yeah, I like that idea. You're working for this. Your house looks beautiful. People come over, they enjoy it. And I to tell you, I always enjoy when you come here, Tracy. Thank you so much for all of your tips. I mean, this is an absolute gorgeous setup. Of course, you can always find and uh, look at more of Tracy's work on WTNH.com.